Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question is, Frederick, <clears throat> which programming language will give you a job the fastest? So let's get into it. Now this, I mean, this is a question that it, I'm going to give you the honest answer, but I also want to raise my finger and I want to say this is the, the, is the worst question I've had so far. Because I, I can almost smell the motivation behind it. And I can only say that, and I'm, I'm going to try to be honest and I'm going to try to be nice about this. But the person who asks this question, I'm sorry dude, I'm pretty sure that programming isn't for you. Because asking this question, it may, I might be wrong, but it sounds like you are in a state of desperation or a state of urgency of some sort. And honestly, programming takes too long if you want to get good, if you need, because you need to get good at it. It takes too long. It requires patience and it will be a, a significant investment on your part almost regardless of what you decide to go into. It doesn't really matter which language, like any language is going to require time and investment from you. And it's very unlikely that if you go in with the mindset, how, how am I going to get to the reward? Because the reward is to get paid for it, if you will. The quickest, it's, uh, it's a very similar mindset to these people who say that I'm going to get in shape. How do I get there the quickest? Well, in my experience, it's very rare that these people ever, ever get into the sort of shape that they kind of want to get into. They might lose a few kilos here and there, or like pounds, whatever, depending on what system you use. But, but it's very unlikely that it's going to stick because being in shape is actually more about a personality trait. It's, an, it's something you are in shape not because you sat down and decided that I'm going to be really really good at this for a little while so I can get the reward it's an ongoing thing it's a personality trait a habit if you will something that you grow into your own personality if you will the same thing goes for software development you can absolutely get a job quickly and I will tell you how but it I will just warn you it's very unlikely that if your entire reason to go into software development is to get a job as quickly as possible, I'm just saying there's easier ways to make money. That being said, let's talk about quick. All right. So if we are talking about just getting any job, like doesn't really matter what you're going to do. You just want a job as quickly as possible. My guess is, and this is probably going to be fairly true globally, is that you go into JavaScript front-end development, JavaScript development, something of that nature. The requirements on front-end developers, uh, like at least as a, at a junior level, and the, require, like the demand for JavaScript developer, uh, JavaScript development is extremely, extremely high. And the requirements for being one varies quite a lot. It's actually kind of funny because the, if you look at how hard, quote unquote, it is to get a job at, as one thing or, or the other, I would argue that JavaScript is probably on the easier end of things while lang in languages such as C and C++, if you're depending on your field, of course, it's going to be a little bit trickier. It's going to require more of you to, in order to do that. It's because the, how do I put this? The the amount of stuff that you need to know before you're ready to bridge that gap between a complete beginner and somebody who can be sort of productive or be trained in a very short amount of time to to someone who can be productive in a company is very it varies right and for somebody who wants to go into say system levels programming you need to actually have quite a lot of pre-knowledge uh, academics and stuff well not necessarily academics but you need to have a very high level of knowledge before you can actually be trained into to fix that last part because that's always the case guys you can only train to a certain level and that's the idea that the school system is gonna the education system is gonna help you with they they're supposed to train you to a point where that little little extra bit that is needed in order for you to be on par with other professionals is going to be so small that the companies are willing to take a risk on you and just train you that little extra bit and then you can be productive, right? That's the idea. And depending on, as I said, on you, what you want to work with, 
that amount is going to vary and in javascript depending on your situation it's, go it's going to be really really low like it might be very small in comparison to other languages the same thing goes for php in many senses php is probably also one of the fastest languages to get a job in ruby is also on in that on that scope uh, so I would probably, I, it's hard to say, I will say that JavaScript is probably the safest bet, but I, I, I would still want to mention that Ruby and PHP are probably very, uh, they are, in comparison to a lot of other languages, easier to get a job quickly with, because it's, uh, how do I put, I, it's, it's a hard to say this without making it sound like a bad thing, because it's not a bad thing. I mean, there are people who are re writing really serious stuff in these languages, but uh, there's also a very large amount of people in the industry who work at small-time consultancies, or small, like small projects, etc., where the quality and, and the demand of the software that they are writing is, very, at much, is much lower than in other areas. If you're going, if we're going to go one further, and I will say that, all right, let's say that you don't just want quick, because quick is one thing, but you want to be certain that you're going to get it as quickly as possible, but also maintain a relevancy in the industry with the lowest amount of effort. In other words, the problem with, say, JavaScript is that although you can get into the industry very quickly, it's uh, it's a very, you know, if we're going to be lazy about this, it's... Uh, it's a very high energy type of language to be part of because there's all these things that are changing all the time and you kind of have to be aware of them because if you get outdated in JavaScript, it's going to be very hard for you to get the next job. And that's kind of, it may not be the fastest way to get there, uh, like necessarily, but I don't think that's the only thing that we should consider. Like getting there quickly is one thing, but staying there, you know, actually maintaining a relevancy in the industry is also important. And if that's your goal, C Sharp and Java will be the best bets. These are, they will, t uh, getting good at those, these languages, well, might take a little bit longer than JavaScript, PHP, and Ruby, and so forth. And, you know, or rather, you know, to get to a point where you can work. But uh, if you do go, do you actually ever get to a point where you can get employed with these two languages, it's uh, very likely that you are going to be fairly set for the rest of your career, uh, especially in C Sharp, where you don't really have to learn all that much more. But once you know the .NET framework and so forth, you're kind of set. That ecosystem doesn't move all that much. It, there are. I'm not saying that it's not hap There's not stuff happening. It's just that from the industry's perspective and the needs of most companies that is pretty much enough you can stay in java or in c sharp for the rest of your career most likely so what i want you to take away from this is that if you your goal is to get a job as quickly as humanly possible in programming javascript php and ruby are probably the quickest ways to get there if you want to get a job quickly but also be very certain that you're going to be able to kind of just learn what you need and then stay in the industry with and just be employed if you will java and c sharp are probably the best bets but i also warn you it's depending on how in, impatient or how quickly you need these things to happen and depending on your perspective i mean i don't know what why some why the person asked this question in question i, I just warn you program there are easier ways to l to earn a living than programming and it's usually a bad sign when people are impatient about software development because it's a field which requires a lot of dedication and a lot of patience to get good at have a great day